begging you. I beg you in God's name, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't do anything stupid. I'm begging you, please. Don't don't kill us, please. Please, I, I promise I'll go back and I, I won't do it again. Please, please, I'm begging you. Man of integrity. Let go back to his for Me rebel! You were long warned. I know. I know, I know I was long warned and I'm sorry. I am sorry. Okay, please, I'm begging you. Just give me a second chance. Second chance! It's the refuge of men who failed in life. Goodbye, Mirabel. Don't touch it. Don't touch this. Yes. This. Don't touch it. Ah! This is abomination. Hey! Hmm. This is abomination. Gods forbid. Hey. 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 This dream. Curse of our land. Please protect the prince of this kingdom with your might. Do not let any evil befall him. Direct him in the right path. Hey, God. What will I call this? Hold on. Let me ask you this question, Miss Dreamer. Ever since you started this your dream of a thing, how much have you made? You guys should please stop this joke. You will be start appearing either in dream or in reality. What? It's not a good one. It's a message from the gods. Ada, it's a joke. The ancient Igrube is nothing but a myth. It has never appeared before. So please stop hallucinating and go back to work. Because when the royal household will give instruction, we will be the ones to throw you out. I wonder why you girls are not seeing things the way I'm seeing it. I'm scared for the prince, seriously. He's a good man and he deserves a good life. I have a suggestion. What is it? Talk. Why not go meet the prince and tell him about the dream you had? So it likely might affect him. Of course. <laughs> no, please, please stop back. Please. Stop back continue your dream. What's up, Mr. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? When Unza, the boy, enters the farm, it's either the corn is ready for harvest or the cob is. Bringing out. 
the ancient Igrube has always been a story passed on from fathers to their children. Ah, uh, no. This one the intellect is so. I hope all is well. Not with the type of dream I had a few moments ago when I was resting. Hey. Which kind of dream could make a titled man be so uneasy? Huh? The ancient Igube staff man. struck the prince dead in my dream. What? You check, as you say. You mean you had the same dream as me? Wait, you had the dream too? Yes. This is serious. Hey, hey. Which means. It's not an ordinary dream. It cannot be. It's a vision or a message from the gods. You are right. <laughs> Yay. Yay. We need to fix a meeting with the prince immediately. Oh, we should do that. But I hope he is not going to uh, give us excuses with his uh, work. What can do? I want to go to work this, that, that. Otherwise, I think we should even go now. Oh. oh, you're here. Your food is ready. And have I not warned you to stop serving me this cost food of yours? Tell me what exactly do you want from me? How else do you want me to shock you for you to understand? Or do you want me to cut off your head before you understand that I'm serious? And this thing, this thing you're carrying in your hand, this is why you are misbehaving. What is your problem? What has, what has come over you? Why, why are you screaming? Hey, hey, hey! Are you shut up! Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! You're doing all these things are happening! Keep your mouth shut! What, what, what has come over you? This is our... Hey, stop! 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 Come down here! Come down here! Come down here! Jose had the same dream. Yes. Hey, well. That is why I decided to come and see you. Immediately he left my house. Chimo. My queen, for the three of us to have the same dream, it means it's the message from the gods. Yes. And according to the story behind the ancient stuff, it appears either when the throne is long overdue to be ascended on or the day of the gods is approaching. And of course you know that such ritual can only be led by the head of the masquerade, which is the king. Hmm. And for almost two years now, we don't have a thing. Oh no. What do we do? The elders will have a meeting with the prince to tell him before this looming, disastrous rain hits our roof. And of course, you know that 
this ancient staff is not an ordinary staff. I know. <laughs> Dennis, what did you just say? Now that I am back, we have to continue from where we stopped from. Oh. I have made so much money to take care of you. More than any man can think of. You see, I'm just giving you two days to think about this. Please. My love, what did I do wrong, eh? Why did you want to leave me? Donald, if you know what is good for you, allow me to go. Please. Please. Huh? You cannot leave the man that you have been with for the past four years without any explanation. What do you expect me to tell my king's men? Tell them anything, okay? They will understand. My love, please don't do this to me. I don't even know what I did wrong to you, but please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Huh? Remember the love we shared together and our two years old soon. Who's going to take care of him? You. Yes, you. Train him. Is he not your child? Please allow me to go. Please, bring me. Uh. Hello, Doc. Why are you this lost? Oh, no. I'm not. I'm not lost. I I was just pondering over that little boy. Do you know that boy would have died if they didn't bring him at the time they did? And God used you might need to save him. Being awarded the best surgeon in the state and one of the best in the country is not in vain. Indeed, you're the best. Agatha, Agatha, thank you. You know you always have your way with words. That is why they called me Agatha. <laughs> Doc, we both know the story of that little boy you fabricated. It's just to take me off the hook. We've been friends for so long now. So tell me, what is wrong with my friend? Agatha, I guess you're here to inform me that the surgery is ready. Shall we go save your life and stop gossiping? Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> no problem. So how is the... Yeah, hello, Ruben. Uh, listen, I'm actually analyzing the document you sent to me earlier today. You did a good job, but just one problem. There's one of the payment that do not tally. Yes, but I've corrected them. Ruben, you have to always make sure your documents are correct, all right? Before sending them out. In that way, we maintain status quo as number one. All right, sorry for bothering you at this time of the day. All right, good night. Hello, son. Hey, mom. How are you? I'm very good, just work. And you? I'm good, just worried. Worried about what exactly? I had a bad dream today. And you know who came visiting with the same dream too. Oh. So what could this dream be about? I believe your daddy told you about the great Igube staff. Yes, I did. But that's a myth. It never appeared in recent times, yeah. Well, it appeared in my dream. In Ono Wu's dream. And even Ichiya Jose's dream too. All at the same time. 
I believe you know what that means. Did you allow this to happen to me? Why did you allow this to be for me? What crime did I commit for this to happen to me? What crime? Till this time of the night, I've been trying to call him. He's not picking up his calls and... Oh, you sleep, God, Timothy. Yes, um, hello, Timothy. I I'm sorry I'm calling you at this time of the night. I'm, I'm really sorry, but... Yes, I'm worried about my husband. He's not back and he's not been taking his calls. But when last did you see him, please? Wait, wait, let me get this straight. You mean you all left the office at 4 p.m.? I have not seen him. I have been calling his line. He's not taking his calls. He's not returning the calls either. Timothy, please don't ask me to calm down. You need to try and get across to him. Just in case you get... Yes, just call his line, please. Let, let, let's know if he'll pick up your own calls. Please. It's okay, thank you. I'll, I'll just wait for you to get back to me, please. Thank you. 4 p.m.? Christ. So why in God's name is he not picking up his calls? Why? Oh God. Diamond, 
प्लीज जस्ट स्पीक अप जस्ट स्पीक अप जस्ट स्पीक अप आह जीसस गॉड प्लीज आई डू नॉट वांट एनीथिंग टू हैपन टू माय हस्बैंड नथिंग विल हैपन टू हिम ही विल बी फाइन ही विल कम बैक होम सेफली नथिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन टू हिम taking your calls. I was worried sick about you. Oh. Hey, Don't come close. Am I owing you? What do you mean are you owing me? For goodness sake, Diamond, I am your wife. I should be worried about you. If I don't if you don't come back home, I should call you. Are you asking me if if you're owing me? Hey, hey, woman, listen. I'm very, very tired, and time is not friendly right now. All I need to do is to go in there and rest. I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry, but... I made something for you earlier. Sh should I microwave it? Don't you think you're becoming so stupid and foolish at this time? Your husband walked in at this old hour, and all you could think about is for me to eat. Come on. I can see you're not even thinking about my health. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Highness, with all due respect, the reoccupation of the throne is long overdue. Look, your late father, our king, a just and nobleman of this kingdom, died more than two years ago. And the tradition of our people clearly states that a new king must ascend the throne. Within one year after a king's demise. Kebaino, what are we doing? Where are we? Kebaino! Um, Ichi Ajuze, you have spoken very well. Thank you. Yes, you have. Okay. Um, Your Highness, you heard the dream the Onowu and Ichi Ajuze had. The staff of Igrube does not appear anyhow. It doesn't. Whether in spirit or in dream. It is a sign, a warning sign, that you have to do the needful. Because the day of the gods will soon come. Well, my elders, I want you all to know that I've heard your voices. But the thing is, I am not ready to get married. As a matter of fact, I'm not interested in getting married. I said it's not part of my life plan. Oh, for real, cha-cha. Hmm? Hmm? Awesome. 
um, Prince Daniel, if I may ask, <laughs> what are you trying to say? Because all I can understand here is that now in Akapo, in Akapo, Mom, are you trying to tell us that you don't care about the warnings from the gods? No or are you trying to tell us that you don't care about what happens to our people? Listen to me. This is a matter of urgency. I must be treated as one. It is Jude, this issue has not gotten to the point of an argument. I have made up my mind. If I cannot ascend my father's throne without marriage, then let the throne be moved to another family. Let it hey. be done then. Let it be done. But first, you must do the needful. And what exactly is the needful? Hmm. My prince, you have to die for the throne to be moved to another family. What? Uh, the big question here, Prince Daniel, is are you ready to die? <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Um, that's the fire I saw Mr. True Angel. I hope all is well. Of course, all is not well. Because of your carelessness, we almost lost 400 million naira in this company today. Are you sure that's the fire I submitted? Are you saying I'm speaking jargons? Well, take a look. Take a freaking look. Sorry, it won't happen again. Of course it's not going to happen again. Because you're leaving this company today. Oh. Today! Sir, please, I'm sorry. It hasn't gotten to this. Please, sir, forgive me. To think that I warned you to stop nurturing feelings for me. I told you it was going to cost you your job if you continued. But, but sir, I, I, I stopped that a long time ago. Then what was this love later doing on the file you submitted to me? What was it doing there? So instead of doing the job you're being paid for, you got distracted again. Well, I'm sorry, miss. This company no longer needs your services. You can as well try somewhere else. Now get out. I said get out! and the queen had the same dream? Yes, that same dream I told you people that I had. And how did you get to know that the queen and Onowu had the same dream? I overheard the queen and Onowu having conversation. He was telling the queen that he and Uche had the same dream. This is serious. Very serious. So what are we going to do about it? My problem is the prince is not doing anything about it. He's hell-bent on not marrying anyone, either. Ghost of our land, please save us from this doom. <sighs> oh. Father, don't you think we're wasting time? In what exactly? Father, come on. I mean, we are giving the prince time to be messing around. He's misbehaving. <sighs> So I'm saying, all I see is time. Time for him to mess up the more in the eyes of the people. Yes. Okay, Father, what if the people don't even hate him at the end of it? Father, I think we should plan this. Let's plan the kids. Upon his dead. We plan the coup. 
Auntie Kupa, this thing is very simple. <laughs> Samson. Well, I believe there are many ways to go about this without killing him. For instance, the meeting we attended today, the owner who has already seen the ancient Eagle Bay staff, which is a warning for the prince to take a wife in order to get ready for the girl's ritual. And if <laughs> he refuses to adhere to these advices from the people, what do you think the people will do when they find out that calamity is about to befall them as a result of the prince's stubbornness? Come on, son. Be prudent enough and trust your father. <laughs> father, I trust you, but I just want you to know that I am ready and my boys are ever ready. Okay? <laughs> Come on, you're my father. You can do anything for you. Trust your father. That's my father speaking. Sip up. <laughs> mm. What has life brought my way? People say when life gives you lemon, you make lemonade out of it. It seems my lemonade is worse than the lemons life has given me. Why is my marriage, which should be a good thing, a nightmare to me? What have I done? What have I done to deserve one year of pain? Worst, right? You've done your worst. Ruth, what are you talking about? So this is all you could do. This is all you could do. Huh? Ruth, I am lost here. What are you talking Can about? Shut up, you better stop giving me that pretentious look. Yeah. Huh? You think I don't know that you put that letter inside that document? Huh? Hey, Angel, I'm talking to you. Is that? Oh, really? Oh, really? Anyway, you have done your worst and I will deal with you. I will surely deal with you, Angel! Hey, Ruth, shut up. You can do nothing. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Watch your back, Angel. Watch your back, little girl. Ciao, ciao. Go and rest. Go and watch your feelings at home. Can you imagine? Go and rest at home. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now it's time to strategize on the bus. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Oh no. From what you just told me he said in that meeting, there is trouble. So how do we remedy this situation? My queen, since after that meeting, I have been dumbfounded. The prince's utterances and how firm he was leaves me with this question to you. Have you been speaking to the prince concerning the culture and tradition of this great kingdom? Have you? Oh no, hmm? don't you know me again? Don't you trust me? If there is anyone in this kingdom who will take it upon herself to speak to Prince Daniel, hmm. that person is me. It is just that the prince has a mind of his own. His only interest is his father's legacy to him, which is his business. Oh no, I am trying. I am truly, truly trying. 
This is very serious. Hmm? If I call him to talk to him about the traditional rituals and ceremonies, he will tell me he's busy with work and contracts. Huh? Is that how he's going to govern the good people of this great and ancient kingdom? Oh no. His perceptions about women are exactly his late father's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? Oh no, I have carried this in me for the past years that I stayed with my late husband. You know, my husband married me for the throne. He married me just to prevent the Gurube staff from appearing in his time. Yes. For the past 10 years that I lived with him before he died, I never slept in the same room with my late husband. I never slept on the same bed with him. He never touched me. Oh no. My late husband never saw me as a woman, let alone sleeping with me. Yes. Please. Oh no. I need you to speak with Prince Daniel yourself. I believe he will listen to you more because you are a man. Please. My prince, my prince in the making. <laughs> Even so quiet since we got here. What's the problem? Talk to your guy now. I be I don't become stranger for your territory again. I am not happy the way my father is going with this kingship turtle. How do you mean? The other day I suggested to him that we hit the prince of the game, plan a coup if this old man wants to take the kingship to another family. That's the right thing to do. So what's this end then? <sighs> that I should play cool. I should pipe low. He said I should pipe low. Of course you know I, I can't be patient. I don't know. I don't have that in my dictionary. I don't know how to be patient. The lion is nobody's puppet. My prince, just say a word. I'm your boys, you will run the errand for you. Sharp. I am Samson Escobar. I lack patience. Mm -hmm. I know you guys will deliver. Definitely. And I'm planning something. Bro. We'll run it well. Sharply for you. Do you understand? There's no problem. Correct. What is 
this really going on? Why am I in this kind of situation? Why is life treating me this way? God, why? Since this journey is still death to us part. Oh, death. Come and take me. He wasn't like this. Where is this place? Why are we here? I want you to guess. Can you just go ahead and tell me? You know I don't like guessing. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. This is your home. Your heaven on earth. Hmm? <laughs> Wait. Are you? Are you saying this place belongs to us? Exactly. What? <laughs> it's in... No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, you must be joking, right? All right, I specifically want to thank you for standing by me. Because your faith and trust motivated me to do this. Listen. I loved you yesterday. I loved you today. And I'll forever love you. And I love you till eternity. Come here. <laughs> oh, Thank goodness. you. Mm, well, I, I'm, I'm still trying to. Can we go inside so you can see the interior? Allow me. All right. I mean, me. Jesus, I cannot believe this. Oh my God, this is you. <laughs> okay, I, I, I want to see what we have All right. inside. Lift your way. I don't know why. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I mean, this whole place doesn't even look like the big... My love. I have journeyed to a lot of places. And I've met so many ladies. No one. I mean, no one has appealed to my heart the way you do. And on this special day, I want to let you know that you're my heart, desire. You're my love. You are my heartbeat. You are the woman that I truly love. And so I ask, Miss Mirabel Ikema, Will you marry me? I'm sorry, I... I don't think I can do this. I can't. Of course I will marry you! That was it! <laughs> sorry, let me take this off. Okay, please just say it again. What are you putting it in? Miss. <laughs> Mirabel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you marry me? I will marry you! <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. This is
we have here? <laughs> My golden jewel. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. How are you? Very well. I am deeply sorry I am still doing this. I had other chores to do in the house. But I promise in no time I will be done. Okay. Come on, honey. I should be the one saying sorry here for making you go through this stress. Just know that I love you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, why didn't you eat at the company's cafe since you said you were so hungry? Honey, I've told you, it's either your food or nothing. So what happens if I travel? I'm going to fast and pray. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You're crazy, I you swear. Know, let me help you. Okay, so what do you want to do? This. Uh -uh. I don't want you missing a finger. Don't worry, do this. You okay. get you. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your day, Jim? Very well. Okay. Uh huh. Go with the second one. Looking so hot. I know. For who? If I don't look hot for you, who else will I be looking hot for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me get water so we can wash that. Yes, you can put it here. But why? Why me? How did my man become this mean? How did a sweet relationship like ours become so sad? What is going on? How did my heaven becomes so dark. Seriously, Irene, so the way you're going about this marriage and um, throne issue is getting me all worked up. I mean, why can't a man make his own decisions and be allowed to stand by it? A business decision, you mean? What do you mean by that? Uh, who makes decisions without a proper reason? And who told you I do not have reasons for my decisions? Well, well, I think I did not attend the ceremony where you made your reason known to everybody. Your Highness, can you do me the favor of telling me what your reason is? I thought as much. Look, you're not just anybody. You are a successful businessman. You are a prince to one of the richest kingdoms in the East. What do you think people will say about your non-association with ladies? Well, I don't care what they think. They will think you are gay. Well, they can say whatever they want to say. They can think whatever they want to think. I don't care. I have the right to do whatever I want to do as a man, without pressure. Look, no one is pressuring you. I am simply saying that you do the right thing. Well, the only right thing in my dictionary is my father's legacy. Which is this company, all right? Every other thing is tertiary to me. Please, can we talk about something else? I'm sick and tired of this topic. Look, Daniel, you sacked a girl because she was nurturing feelings for you. As is when did it become a crime to nurture feelings? Arinze, it seems you are not um, ready to offer solutions anymore. You can as well use the door while I focus on getting solutions somewhere else. Daniel, are you infertile?
young man, you called my attention. What exactly do you want? I mean, how may I be of... Atakata, I want to ask you about something that has been giving me a great concern. I mean, a very big one at that. What is it that bothers you? That you feel I, Atakata, the son of Omwe Mary, can provide answers to? It's about the prince. Yes. And what bothers you about the next head that will wear the crown of this great kingdom? Please, Atakata, do you know anything about the prince not wanting to get married? I mean, has he given you any reason? Will you shut up your mouth? Will you shut up your stupid mouth? Sorry. Listen. I will forgive your stupidity this once. Just this once. Never you try this nonsense again. Have you forgotten that I am Atakata? The guardian and keeper of the palace secrets. Listen to me. Anything the royal household did not make public, whatever that they choose not to announce publicly, becomes secret automatically. And such a thing is forbidden to come out from my mouth. It's an abomination for me to say such a thing. Young man, I will advise you mind your job in this palace. Ella, I am not happy with you at all. Why do you keep avoiding law without any tangible reason? You resigned from the job which they virtually worshipped you because of your smartness and dedication, or because the owner of the company asked you out, a man who is single, handsome and rich. Ella, what is going on? Who does that? Ella Duke does that. Babe, I am not joking. I am not joking at all. What kind of a man do you want? I mean, your spec, the kind of man you crave for, like, you know what I'm talking about? Or is there any more to this that you're not telling me? Okay, listen, Laura. You know, getting a job is never my problem. But you know me too well. I have policy, and when work ceases to be professional, I back out. That was what I told my boss. But he seems carried away with the physical rather than being intellect. And as for the kind of man I want, oh, Laura, I don't want any man. Not at all. I just want to remain single and walk, 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 and walk. That's all. Get it. <laughs> You're joking, right? Just, just tell me. You're playing. You know me too well. I'm not joking. So please. Shh. Who is this? What are you doing here? Um, my love. <laughs> Please, I just... I just want you to touch me. Please. Touch you? Touch us, Holy Spirit. Eh? Touch us, anointing of God. My friend, leave this place! Go, go, go to do my meet her son. Leave, leave now, leave! He, he, he's, he's sleeping. I, I, just, I just came in from his room. He... He has gone to bed, babe. You rebel. Babe, please, you haven't touched me since I took in. What changed? What did I do? Everything changed. Hey, don't make me do that scene. You are a very cheap hole. Don't. So, sorry, what, what did you just call me? Exactly what I called you. 
Leave this place. Leave this place now! Leave! I... I don't want to get up from here. Leave! If you need a touch, then the Holy Spirit that touches you. Let that touch kill you there! Touch of them one son. Holy Spirit touch. You can't fold your legs as a woman. Keep your legs. Close it! Mba! You want a touch, you want me to penetrate. Let that thought kill you! Babe, I am not joking. I am not joking at all. What kind of a man do you want? I mean, your spec, the kind of man you crave for, like, you know what I'm talking about? Or is there any more to this that you're not telling me? What is really happening to me? Ah. What is happening to me? God, what is really happening to me? How did you allow this ugly fate to befall me? Madness, but I'm swimming in the ocean of doom. <laughs> God, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? <laughs> Just come and help me. I don't know where else to go. I don't know who to run to. It's only you I know I can run to. Help me, I'm helpless, just help me. Help me, help me. I'm dying. Help me.
I'm begging you. If you move an inch, just an inch, I swear, yes. I'll end your life here and now. It's me. It's me, your wife, the, the, the mother of your son. Please don't do this to me. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please. It's okay. I, I will not do anything to you. Okay. I will not kill you. But you have to allow this substance to enter your ear. What will it do to me? Just hold on. You will know when it enters your ear. Calm. Just be calm. Damod. Damod, please, I'm not making you. I'm not making you. Damod, please, I'm not making you. Damod, please, this. This cannot get into my ears. Damn please, I'm begging you, and I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. <laughs> spare me. Please, just spare, spare me. Don't, don't, don't kill me, please, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please, don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Spare me. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Don't go, don't, 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 don't go. Don't go close to me. Stay away from me. What's your problem? Stay. Don't kill me. Just stay away from me. I, I beg you, please don't, don't. Don't kill me. Mirabel, what is your problem? What are, what are you doing with the cutlass? You were screaming, spare me, spare me. So I, I, I came to attack the person. And you heard it all the way from the room? How? What is your problem? Are you suspecting me or something? Is there something you are not telling me? What is going on? Hmm. This tastes really nice. You did a good job, you can now. You should keep it up. Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, Your Highness. Uh. Which particular car are we going to the office with? Atakata. Your Highness. Henceforth, I'll be going to the office alone. Uh, but Your Highness, you do not worry. I have a better assignment for you here in the palace. And I believe you do very well. Yes. As it pleases you, Your Highness. My prince. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I have a question. I'm sorry. Go ahead, again. My prince. Is there a reason? As to why you refuse to get married, despite what is at stake. I can see that complimenting your food has gotten into your head and has given you guts to meddle with my personal issues. I'll forgive you this once. And I hope this never happens again. My, my prince, I'm sorry for my curiosity. Look, your, your, your the most stupid human being I have seen in life. How dare you speak to the prince in that manner? You just open your mouth, wah, and you begin to spill nonsense from your mouth. Are you stupid? My oh, prince, my oh, prince, who are you going to worry? We are very stupid. Will you clear this nonsense? I, I was, I, if you say I'm one word, I will slap you. I'm Come on, get to work. I was so concerned. Look, look at him. I was so concerned. My prince. My mouth will not put me in trouble.
you all call yourselves elders of this kingdom, but you don't have the interest of citizens of this kingdom at heart. Yeah, Jude. What is that? Slow down. I mind the way you talk to us. Ask what will happen. Will you beat me? Will you beat me? Look at you. You are here. The priest is using you for business. And you are there supporting a harbinger of doom. Jude, mind the way. Mind the way you, you, you speak. Lest you incur the wrath of the gods. You know how it is. Remember, it's the prince you are talking about here. The prince of this land. You are talking about him in such, in such a nefarious and condescending manner. Prince or no prince, I will air my mind. If he's a good leader, why is he not doing the needful? Hmm? Jude. The way you are taking this case, personal, leaves me hanging in a puzzle. We're all gathered here as elders of this kingdom to decipher a way forward. But here you are, speaking like someone who has a personal vendetta with the prince. Hi, please, come out clear. Let's know where you are going. Even me, I'm beginning to suspect him. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Because you are beginning to behave like one who is dragging the throne with the young man. Suspect me or not, this kingdom needs someone of my caliber to rule it. Okay. Caliber. Mm -hmm. Finally, you are out of your shell. But let me remind you. That young man was chosen by the gods to rule this great kingdom. The reason, we don't know. And you will not tell us that you do not know that the gods are hearing what he is saying about not marrying. Why don't you allow the gods to do their work? Since there's nothing we can do. Oh no, well, dare you miss the mark. Of course you have a standing solution. Bridges, now tell us. What are you doing here? Are you stalking me? I found out you are lost in after our boss, Prince Daniel. Which was the reason you did not proofread that document before taking it to him. And I believe you saw my memo inside. And then you grabbed the opportunity. Now you listen to me. If you wish to continue working there, you'll be sharing your salary with me. 50-50. Ruth, Ruth, I will advise you to go back to that your baba that did the charms for you. Go and tell him that he is still learning. So if I tell you that me, Angel, will, sh will share my salary with you, you believe? Are you okay? Wake up from your dreams, baby girl. <laughs> Ruth, girl. I think you feel like you're so brave. But well, I'll show you the other side of me. Hey! Hold it there. Don't you dare cross the lines. Don't you ever in your life threaten me. Don't you ever. And stop following me about. Stop stalking me. You know what I can do, right? You know what I can do. Be warned. Come on, disappear. Fool. You will hear from me. Look at this little girl. to a reputable school. I must commend your good grades 
and also good experiences. Um, not to worry, you just leave. My secretary will fix a date for your appointment and she'll call you in that regard. Thank you, sir. I... I have to... Do have a good day. Right senses at all? You want to initiate the Ikume process? Abomination. abomination. What is abomination about Ab it? So you mean you want to sacrifice 14 virgin maidens of this community? And 10 strangers? Men? Of course, since the prince does not want to do the needful. Hello? Hey. Are you going to lead the process? Hey. Over my dead body will that happen? Oh no, did you just say over your dead body? Will you lead the Ikume process? You heard him. Never you say never. Because it is not over until it is over. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this evil man. Look at him. Look at Double sink in it. No, no. Come and sacrifice the entire kingdom. Caliber. We sacrifice everybody. Evil man. No sense. Hey! Ha ha. What has come over him? I don't know. Allah. You mean you had such a dream? Girl, I was scared. It, have you ever had a dream that felt so real? It felt like it was, it was happening. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I was scared to my bones. This is serious. Have you confronted him? How? What am I supposed to say to him? You want to kill? Come on, that would be a very big accusation, especially without evidence. Evidence? Uh-huh. What do you mean by evidence? What about a dream? And who takes a dream as an evidence? What are you saying? My point is, you have to confront him. Hmm. Courtes, ritualists, all of them, they get scared once they know they are being suspected. Are you sure? Very sure. You see, I am scared. <sighs> Babes, with the way you're talking, you're also scaring me, so calm down. You cannot be scared. See, see. You will not ask it as a question. You will just throw it to him. I have this, I have this strong feeling that one of the rules in their confraternity, their ritual thing, is that once their wife gives birth, they should disassociate themselves with her. Yes. Hmm? So tell me, how did you feel after that time, the encounters? <laughs> it felt good. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it from your voice. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You know what? What is that? I will want you to sing another beautiful, charming, romantic, and a special song to me. Stop, just stop, hey, hey, stop. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Please do that for me. Okay. Mm. The meaning of my life is for the one I love. He's always in my dreams. Mm. He's my fantasy. The moment I saw you. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> that is it. The moment you saw me, I love that one. Stop. I have been waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> The moment stop you saw that. me, I shall tell you what happened the moment you saw me. Stop that, stop. Come tell on. me, come on. 
I fell for you. Ah! <laughs> I know it. I know it because I saw it in your eyes. Stop! I would stop. Stop that you're always making me act out of character. Stop! Don't you like it? I like? I know. <laughs> So, when are we going for boat cruise? Next weekend. Ah, uh, next weekend. I want you to be precise. Friday or Saturday? I think Saturday. Come on. Say it romantically. Saturday. Good. I do. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're coming. Those urchins. Those fools. Those bastards insulted me. They insulted me as if I am in their class. Well, I don't blame them. I blame myself for attending that cheap meetings just to see if they can listen to the voice of reasoning. Huh? Father. You are the one that has been leaning to these people. I mean, I told you, let us eliminate these people once and for all. I am not asking you to do the killing. My boys are out there. They are ready to do it. Just your command. And that, 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 that is all. Yeah, well, son, I understand that you want something to happen as fast as possible to see your father ascend the throne of this king. Exactly. But you see, I appreciate you for your support and care. Hmm? Thank you so much. But in his father's throne. Yes, Your Majesty. I have. Uh, your Majesty, I believe you know your son better than I do. The prince has a very determined mind. When once he sets out on a course of action, he follows it to the latter. Uh, but your majesty, that does not mean I will give up. I will keep trying. Thank you, Atakata. I want to ask you again. As the keeper of the palace secrets, is there anything he has told you that you want to share with me regarding the same subject matter? Chichi, leave us. Okay, my Welcome. So, come here. <laughs> All right. I have to be on my way now, okay? And where do you think you're going? Home, of course. Is there anything you want me to do for you? Remember I told you I prepared something before you said we should hang out? And that meal is not something I can finish alone. I don't have any plans of eating it tomorrow. I have another plan. So, so what are you insinuating? That you follow me inside and eat. It's going to be a quick one, don't worry. Women. <laughs> yeah, good like that. All right. Let's go. I never knew there was an option like this. But Father, the question yet to be answered is, will he want to do it? You see, human being is always difficult to handle. Exactly. 
mostly this oh no i mean it is hard not to crack <laughs> well son when the knot becomes too hard to crack with the use of stone then you have no option than to employ iron come on don't worry your father is an uncrackable knot <laughs> Well, well, Father, I also want you to know that I am with you. I mean, I'm going to do everything to ensure that he will do it at all costs. That is the spirit. Mm -hmm. That is the spirit, son. But I'm going to speak to him one more time diplomatically. And if he refuses, then I will on small cinema. For him to watch. <laughs> Father, is there any need of flogging a dead horse? I mean, why not dive into action and do what you're supposed to do? No. Life is one step at a time. Hmm? Well, I'm learning that from you. A sumo dead there. Eh? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I am beginning to get seriously worried. Worried about what? I am worried about the prince. And what about the prince? Some minutes ago in my presence, the queen asked Atakata if the prince has told him the reason he has refused to get married. And, and what did Atakata say? <laughs> of course. He said nothing. I believe he didn't want to speak in my presence. And that made the queen ask me to leave. <laughs> this is serious. Does it mean Atakata knows something about the prince that no one in the kingdom knows? I don't know. But my problem is, why did he not speak in my presence? Atakata, the son of Omwe Mary, chose not to speak in your presence because I am aware that you are a maiden with an unbridled tongue. You talk too much. You do nothing in this palace but gossip. What is your problem? So if I had opened my mouth, to say anything about the prince. Things that are seriously considered sacred. An idiot like you would have carried them out of this palace to spread in the kingdom. I am totally disappointed at you. I am disappointed. And let me tell you, both of you, I am warning you, if you know you love your jobs, if you know you want to continue staying in this palace, mind yourselves. Be careful. Concentrate on your jobs. Else, I will not hesitate to throw you people out of this palace. I will see to it. I am talking and you have the gods to be Dangling your face up and down. My eyes are on you. Why did you leave this door open? Are you the one that left the door open? Why are you still talking? Gift. <sighs> oh no. So Hi, how did the meeting with the elders go? It was not rosy at all. It can never be rosy as long as it concerns the kingdom. But what is the outcome? Ichi Jude already resorted for Ikumbe rituals. What? <laughs> Please, you and the other elders must stop him. I can only speak for myself. I'm a noble Ichi of this kingdom. And I uphold the truth at all times. 
both of us know how influential Jude is. I don't know what will happen when he starts using his money in bulk. I don't know. Oh no. Why? Are you saying you can be bought? No, 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 no. I'm not speaking about myself. I'm talking about my co-elders. My queen. Iron can melt when put in a furnace. Remember? My queen, please, talk to your son. Honestly, I don't understand the kind of woman being their director is. Why? What do you mean? When he was asking me questions, his eyes were either on my credentials or his laptop. He did not even look at me at all. I was surprised. Hmm. That's serious. Are, are you serious? Yes. Actually, this is the first time I've seen a man that is in the same space as I am. Business oriented and nothing more. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> are you sure? Like, why do you care? Are you sure you're not falling in love with him? Don't be stupid. <laughs> What's the meaning of that? I I'm only saying that that's the kind of boss I would like to have. See how Strictly business oriented. Why are you so excited you're talking about him? Anyway, tell me something. Is he handsome? Cute? Is he muscular? Like his complexion? I'm, I'm Laura. Please. Tell me, is it dark or fair? And Laura, please! At this point, I am done with this conversation because you're sounding like a broken record. Hmm. So can we... Stop it. Okay. I'm fine. The guy's fine. If I slap you, <laughs> go and submit your own CV if you want to know. Come on now, I know I like them dark. Is it dark? She's so, so, you're so unbelievable! Brush club, brush shoulder. God! Just think that long. Go away! So, this is how I would have lost my job today. Ha! Ah. Thank the gods, nothing like this happened. What would I have done? Like, what would I have told my mother in the village? But come to think of it, I did nothing wrong. Yes! I was only looking out for my master. The same master you feel you were looking out for would have sent you out of the palace with a blanket. But what did I do wrong? A wise man is always prudent in his dispositions. But a fool speaks with an unbridled tongue. Prudence and wisdom are great virtues. Apply them if you really want to continue working in this palace. Atakata, the son of Onwe Mary, came in here to give you his wise counsel. Do not say you were not warned. Son, you have to listen to the voice of reason. This is as important as your father's business. Mom, I've made my stand. And I'm not going back on it. I do not intend to get married. Is that too hard for you to understand? Don't you know what is at stake? Don't you have empathy for your own people? Mom. My queen. Let your people know that I have a life to live as an individual. You are not just any individual. 
You are the king's son, the future ruler of this kingdom. Therefore, you have to see everyone in this kingdom as your child. At the detriment of my own happiness. Yes, at the detriment of your happiness. Your father did the same thing. I am not my father. I am Prince Daniel. If the elders cannot find an alternative to this, they can as well wait until I age and die before they can have a king. Ikumbe has been suggested. And what the hell is Ikumbe? It is a ritual exercise. Where the Onowu will lead a ceremony where the heads of 14 virgin maidens of this kingdom will be sacrificed together with 10 heads of male strangers living in this kingdom just to successfully move the throne from this house. And who suggested such barbaric idea? The question is, will you be able to live with that guilt for the rest of your life? Thanks for the food in advance. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Taste of your food. It's a to none. You keep flattering me anytime you eat from my pot. I can flatter a beautiful woman like you. So tell me, who taught you how to cook? My late mother taught me. Mm. Her name must be in the Guinness Book of Record as the best cook in the whole world. <laughs> you can say that again. Uh-huh. Hope you know how to cook. Because one day you will cook for me to eat. <laughs> and I bet you, when I cook for you, you mm -hmm. ask me of my recipe. I never use that of your mom. <laughs> no way. No. <laughs> Don't challenge me. I will surprise you. I can't wait for that day. I can't. Okay. okay. I will surprise you. Mm. Mm. Take. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't be like that. Stop. All right. Don't worry. Take this. Oh, come on, take it. Look at you. <laughs> okay. Take. 
I'm not like you, just take. Don't try anything funny. <laughs> Don't try anything funny. <laughs> I'm not. Don't. <laughs> I'm not like you. <laughs> <laughs> Vivian, thank you. Thank you for the meal. <laughs> Honestly, I enjoyed it. <laughs> You're welcome. It tastes so nice. You're welcome. Anything for you. Mm -hmm. But remember, you promised to cook a delicious meal for me someday. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I wow you that very day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually waiting for that day. I will surprise you. <laughs> so is there any other thing you want? Or anything I can offer you? Oh. <laughs> I will want to rest my head in your bosom and feel so good. <laughs> mm. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. That is all. That is all. Come here. Come here, Mama. Anything for you? Come on, come. Come rest. Ow. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Not my machine. It's fine. All right. Anything for you. You know the right? Mm. <laughs> this. This is heaven on earth. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can say that again. I like your body. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to sing a love song for me. A love song that can put me to sleep. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Okay, you are not alone. Mm -hmm. I am here with you. I do you far apart. You're losing my heart. We should knock and the door will be open. Wherever they have tied my family, my husband, wherever they have said that we shall not live according to your riches and glory. Father, one Lord, we send the Holy Ghost fire into the abyss right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, send your Holy Ghost fire to them right now. Send your Holy Ghost fire to them. You said whatever is loose here on earth is loosed in heaven. Whatever is bound here on earth is bound in heaven. Father, I send your Holy Ghost fire. I send your fire to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall restore peace to my family. You shall bring salvation. You shall bring happiness. You shall bring joy. You shall bring multiple blessings to this family. Oh, I lose my husband right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose him right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I call on your name. I have sent you all the days of my life. I have sent you from the north to the east, to the west, and to the south. Father, you shall bring glory to this family. You shall bring love back to this family. You shall bring peace back to this family. Oh,
send your Holy Ghost fire to them right now. Send your Holy Ghost fire to them. You said whatever is loose here on earth is loose in heaven. Whatever is bound here on earth is bound in heaven. Father, I send your Holy Ghost fire. I send your fire to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall restore peace to my family. You shall bring salvation. You shall bring happiness. You shall bring joy. You shall bring multiple blessings to this family. Oh, I lose my husband right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose him right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I call on your name. I have sent you all the days of my life. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Lord Jesus, I call upon you. Jesus. How dare you destruct the peace of house? How dare you? For him. Does this place look like a church to you? Does it? No, it's for us. For us? For you or for me? Did I tell you that I need them? That I need them? I said! Down! I said, need them! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen. Listen. I listen real good. Next time I hear you pray in this house, I swear I will kill you, I will maim you, I will destroy you. I will pray in my house again. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Don't you ever, ever in your life pray in this house. Zamboto Great Zamboto Great Zamboto We your subjects are here before you to collect strength because your strength is made perfect in our weakness we are calling you at this odd hour of the night when the great wolves hunt. Answer us. Fill us with strength and might as usual because the battle ahead of us is fierce. But with you on our side, Victory is sure. 